Hello, everybody, and welcome to the continuation of example one. So in the previous video, we talked about cycle notation of permutations. So we started with um, the permutations alpha and beta that were given in this matrix notation in the, in the group S4. We just talked about different ways of representing those and came up with these two ways of writing alpha and beta. Okay, in this video, we want to focus on parts A and B, which ask us to actually do some calculations in this symmetric group. Okay, so let's start with part A, which would like us to combine alpha with beta. Now, what do we mean when we use the word combine? Okay, well, we're talking about a group here, right? And so in a group, it should be possible to take two group elements, combine them together with whatever our group operation is, and to get a new group element. Okay, so the question is, what do we mean when we write alpha, beta? Now, it looks like multiplication, but remember, alpha and beta are functions, and so we're really thinking function composition when we do that. Okay, so I'm going to write down our, these two permutations in cycle notation. Alpha we wrote as 1, 2, 3, and 4. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with the first representation. Okay, we, we made the comment in the, in the first video that there are multiple ways of writing down the, the permutation alpha. It's usually customary to start with a number one. Okay, we, we could have also chosen the represent, representation down here, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with convention and choose the one in the top. Okay, and then um, let's see, beta looks like, okay, the permutation one, two, four. And we want to combine those two, those two permutations together using function composition. What we're going to get is a new permutation. Okay, well, how do we do that? Well, a couple of things we need to remember, and that is when we talk about function composition, remember that the function to the right actually gets applied first. So first beta and then alpha. Okay, and we're going to be building a new permutation here. So we'll, by convention, choose to start with the number one and ask ourselves, where does the number one get mapped? Okay, if we apply the permutation beta and then the permutation alpha. Okay, so let's start with beta. Notice that beta maps 1 to 2. Okay, so 1 gets mapped to 2 by beta. And then we could ask the question, where does alpha take the number 2? Okay, well, it takes 2 to 3. Notice we started at the number 1, and we ended up at the number 3. So the net result is that 1 goes to 3. And so we're going to write a 3. Okay, let's erase that, erase the arrows, and we're going to kind of do this again. Now we're sitting at the number 3 and asking, where does that get mapped? Okay, well, we start with the permutation beta. Notice that there is no 3, and we talked about how if the 3 is missing, it just means that 3 maps to itself. Okay, and so we go over to the permutation alpha now and ask, where does 3 go? 3 maps to 4. And so the net result is that we got 3 mapping to 3 over here with beta, 3 mapping to 4, and so where we ended up with is where we ended up is the number 4. Okay, and so net result is that 3 maps to 4. All right, and then continuing, we're sitting at the number 4 and asking where does it go? All right, well, looking at beta, we can see that beta maps 4 back to 1. And then alpha takes 1 to 2. And so where we ended up is here at the number 2. And so the net result is that we started at 4 and we ended up at 2. All right, what about 2? Where does it go? Okay, well, let's erase our clutter here. And so beta takes 2 to 4. And if we go back to alpha, we can see that 4 maps back to 1. And so where we ended up with is the number 1. And so we started at 2 and ended up at 1. Notice that that tells us we need to close this cycle. That's going to tell us that 2 goes back to 1. Okay, so the result of this calculation is the permutation 1, 3, 4, 2. That's what we get when we, when we compose these two permutations together. 
Okay, so we've done part A. Okay, let's clear away a little of the clutter here. And let's do part B now. What would happen if we took beta composed with alpha? What would that look like? What would we get for a permutation? Okay, well, beta is the permutation given by the cycle 1, 2, 4. Alpha is the cycle 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to do the same thing, but just in the other order. So we'll start by asking the question, where does the number 1 map? Okay, well, same thing. This time we're going to start with a permutation alpha. Alpha takes 1 to 2. Beta takes 2 to 4. So the net result is that we started with 1 and we ended up with 4. So we know that 1 goes to 4. Okay. All right, now we're sitting at the number 4 and asking what happens with 4. Well, let's see. Alpha takes 4 to 1. Beta takes 1 to 2. So the net result is starting at 4 and ending at 2. So we need a 2 here. Okay, and then where does 2 go? Well, let's see. Alpha takes 2 to 3. And we look at beta. 3 stays the same. It doesn't change. So the net result is that we're just going from 2 to 3. Okay, and then finally... Okay, sorry for all of the erasing here. Other, but if we don't, we're going to get pretty cluttered here. So let's see. Alpha takes 3 to 4, and then beta takes 4 back to 1. So the net result is that we started at 3 and we ended at 1. That tells us that we need to close this cycle, okay, so that 3 goes back to 1. All right, and so here's the result of our calculation, the permutation given by the cycle, 1, 4, 2, 3. Okay, now question for you. Did we get the same result in parts A and B? Notice that these two permutations are different. They're not equal. And so the order matters here. Alpha beta is not the same as beta times alpha. Do you remember a term for a group like that where, where multiplication is not commutative? We called that a non-abelian group. And so parts A and B serve as an example that S4 is not an abelian group. I'm going to write that down. Okay, and you could find, undoubtedly find other examples of permutations in this group where if you compose in different orders, you get different things. Okay, and in the next video, we will complete this example by doing parts C and D.